Hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back to another podcast. I was going to say vlog, but it's it's not a vlog. It's actually, it's a podcast. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you guys are new to my channel, thank you for clicking on. And uh, yeah, we're going to sit back, relax, chill, and talk about any topics that comes to mind. I'm your host, Ruiz. And uh, yeah, today, you know, it, it seems gloomy today. That's uh, I, li- I like mentioning about the, the weather sometimes. If we're going to have a sunny day or a gloomy day. I think today's going to be gloomy because I looked out the window. It's it's cloudy. It's fairly cloudy. I have two windows here. I can see it. It looks cloudy outside. And I'm not happy. Because it seems like the the world can't make up its mind. Whether to be a sunny day, happy day, or to be cloudy gloomy and sad day you know and and but for us we just got to make uh we just got to make the best of it so yeah we got some good interesting uh topics today and uh yeah I, after dropping off my son in school today you know I went to to the store and uh yeah Everything's just expensive, man. Every everything that you look on, even even the ones uh, that says for sale, even for sale is expensive. You know, when when the economy is like this, it everybody suffers. You know, everybody suffers, and it's it's hard on us. It's hard on our wallets, because like, you know, we work so hard at a job. And, you know, taxes gets taken out of our pay. And still you're left wondering, like, how are we still broke? Like, how are we still can't afford this, still can't afford that? Or I can't buy anything for, for, for your kids. You know, it's hard. It's hard. And it forces us to, to, to budget. You know, how, how, how often does everybody do budgeting? Right, they either, they either um, put money aside, but then you end up using it because you you don't have enough in in your in your wallet and all that stuff, uh, you know. And yeah, it's it's, just, it's a sad times nowadays. Sad times because you know it, it it's not what it used to be back in the day where. I remember when I was younger, uh, in my early twenties, right, uh, and I had my my first car and everything. Like everything seemed cheap. I would say affordable. I wouldn't say cheap. I mean affordable, uh, especially when it comes to gas. Gas used to be cheap back in my day when when I first had a car. It used to be. Um, <clears throat> Like I would say around 70 cents is what I remember when I had my first vehicle. And now look at it. I mean, we're at 171 per gallon, right? Some other provinces across Canada is either around 220 or, yeah, between 220 to 224 per gallon on gas. And it's it's insane. It's crazy. It's crazy. In In the States... You know, uh, alone, like, they're already at $6 a gallon. And, oh, my goodness, like, wow. How do we, how do we, uh, how do we survive in this, in this trying times, right? It's, it's, it's stressing. It's very stressful to everybody. And uh, for me, I try to, to stay optimistic, I try to try to stay happy and do what I do what I got to do, you know, to 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 survive in in this world. I mean, you know, there are people that that's doing two or more side hustle jobs that they're doing, right? Just to to make ends meet, to to pay for the to pay for their rent, to put food on the table, pay the gas bill, pay the electric bill, the water bill and all that stuff. It's they are not cheap. You know, when when all of that accumulate, it it is not cheap. Uh, rent payment is is up there now. It's like 
it increased, I would say, probably like a hundred, an, uh, an extra hundred dollars or a hundred fifty dollars or even two hundred. Wow. Whoo. Just saying those numbers really, really gets you, right? Stresses you out when you, when you talk about numbers like that. It's so high. Food. Oh my goodness. Food. It is crazy. When I go to the supermarket, you know, to, to get food and stuff, even fruits, fruits are so expensive. I remember like a large blueberries, which I like, you know, it's antioxidant. Um, it used to be around three something and it got jacked up to, to like $6, $7 the most. Wow. Even those small watermelons, small watermelons was, it used to be like three something and now it's, it's up to $6, almost $7 also. And wow, it, it's, it's crazy because even if our pay at, at, at a job, you know, gets increased people have to understand that increases everything else the the tax increase also when when you get your paycheck right uh, the amount of taxes that comes out of your pay even though you got a two dollar raise at your job you know it's it's still still the, is not enough you, you you will everybody will still struggle well, except for the ones that are well off and wealthy, they don't really complain much. At times they do, you know, and that makes me wonder too. Like, well, what are you complaining about? You have like thousands of dollars in your account. You have you're a millionaire. Why are you complaining if if something's expensive? You have the money. It's it's. I would say the blue collar jobs type of people that that struggles, you know, and and that sucks. That sucks, you know, and and that forces us to to get a side hustle. Even if you had a side hustle, if you had an extra job or two, it's still not enough, you know, because you want to be able to to save when it comes to for emergency or if you want to take a vacation and all that stuff. Like, how how is that possible? And the places that you live in, right? Depending where you are across Canada, from province to provinces, everything differs, right? It's more expensive on the west and and the east side, right? Compared to in the middle, somewhere in the middle is it's okay, it's affordable. Housings are poor, affordable. It's it's the other cities. In the other provinces are are expensive. I'm sure it's the same thing with uh, the United States, where where in some places the, it is affordable to live at. You know, if you live in California, it's, oof, it's expensive. Of course, that's where all the stars are, Hollywood stars, actors, and all that stuff where they live, and that's where everybody likes to live because they have Disneyland there, they have the beach and all that stuff, right? Same with um. On the East Coast, like Florida, uh, New York City, beautiful place, you know. Uh, still expensive. Even across Canada, Vancouver uh, is expensive. You go on the east side, yeah. Ontario, Ottawa is, is also very, very expensive. For us in the middle, is somewhat expensive and somewhat not too expensive. And, uh, yeah... If everything continues to be that expensive, I think we maybe we should start riding our bicycle to work. <laughs> and, you know, it won't be that jam packed on on the streets, right? It won't you won't have um back of a traffic. Sure, you you might bump into a lot of people cuz there's a lot of them that rides the the scooter, bicycle, and of course, you might have the the road rage, and that happens too, right? Road rage, especially when there's traffic, and somebody is very slow in front of you. I hate that too. They have road rage, and this happened to me too. Like where, where you ever get tailgated, and you hate that, and so you try to move aside, and they still go behind you no matter what, just because 
they're annoyed of you and you just want they just want to tailgate you Ugh, stupid stupid we just have nonsense stupid people out there and all that stuff just because of road rage all right and we have slow drivers that that causes uh, back of, of traffic but we also have drivers who drive so fast that they end up getting in, into an accident and that causes backup of traffic and this happens on a daily basis especially when I bring my son to to school you know around the corner of the street or down the road there's there's traffic and you wonder like why is there traffic and then as you get closer hold him hold him below like hold him below knives anyways I, forget about that uh when you get closer you know there's an accident that just happened and of course everybody's just not paying attention i've seen people uh drive real fast and the light turns yellow and then red they still go through nobody ever stops on a yellow light anymore to slow down they'll just race as fast as they can yep i'm guilty of that too you know i see a yellow light and i just race right through it but i make sure when to do it and how to do it and if it's if it's proper to to just keep going ahead and pass the yellow light the only way you can do that is you got to make sure that there is still no cars in your left lane right lane and, and, and in front of you right same thing with with stop signs oh my goodness people people don't stop at the stop sign properly you you're there first right if you get to the stop sign first and then somebody uh follows afterwards wh- whether if it's left or the right side of the road and then when it's your turn to start going they end up just rushing right through N- not even you know acknowledging that you were there first and this happens all the time especially in school pay- playgrounds school school grounds and all that stuff right so yeah oh, man just of all the things that's going on it's crazy it's crazy and right now too like i just recently was watching the news and reading that that baby formula is is running out you know i don't know if it's being recalled i guess it is being recalled because it was saying that there are certain chemicals that's not good in there uh for the, for the child and i'm just like wow like which which baby formula because it it seems like all of the baby formulas are are being taken off the shelf right before when uh, the pandemic first started toilet tissue was uh was an issue and that was going out of stock and now it's the baby formula that's going out of stock uh no stock at all cuz of certain things so wow and and what's also insane too is that people would buy these stocks and then resell it for such a high price so like like baby formula i i've read that some parents would literally go on amazon or or even on ebay to look for baby formula and they're selling it for for like 70 bucks per container. I'm like, "Wow. Usually per container is usually around between $24 to $30 depending how big the containers are or if you're getting those little individual uh baby formula bottles." Right? It's 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 crazy. Uh the times that we live in now is just crazy and And I don't think it's going to get better. It'll just it'll just get more difficult as time goes on, you know. And and same thing with with road rage, people speeding and 
hearing all the that unfortunate uh, news on the news uh, like for example the uh, the Buffalo uh, shooting that happened at, at a supermarket um, I think that uh, you know this doesn't usually happen here you know you know and 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 I feel for the for the family that that lost their loved ones in that supermarket but you know we still got to be strong we, we still got to be optimistic you know we got to keep going because the world just keeps going with or without you right and uh, you know that's that's my take on uh, of all these things that's going on in, in this world like it's it's crazy it is a crazy situation that we're all in right now prices going high gas prices going high food road rage accidents on the road and yeah we we still we st and we and we're still forced to to keep going and going you know nothing stops that's that's the key thing nothing stops here man we just keep going and be strong and all that stuff yeah like i said man it, today is just it's just like a gloomy day i i have i have other topics that that i'll be talking about you know, it'll be nicer and you'll be awesome on my next uh, episode so uh yeah don't forget to uh to like and subscribe thanks for for clicking on to my uh, podcast here and until next time I'll see you again and don't forget to subscribe <laughs>